Greetings, Earthlings. Oh, shit. I am Emperor Saturn. Woo! <laughs> I have come to this realm as a divine being to bring order to a wayward species. And you may have heard that I'll be declaring my rule on January. Yo, Tim! Where the fuck? There you are. Yeah! I didn't see you there. <laughs> you may have heard that I will be declaring my rule as Emperor of the Solar System on January 20th. Meaning that. The bourgeois mortal pretender capitalist Donald Trump will never be acting president. I will be taking over effective immediately. <laughs> Woo! There are some uh, points to my imperial plan. You may have heard some of them. Point one, I haven't really numbered these. Point one is redistributive genocide against the wealthy. Woo! Yes, yes. Another point is from day one of my imperial rule, Set fire to the Philadelphia Parking Authority. <laughs> there are some other points. Um, the Solar Empire will be uh, pro-loitering. Uh, the Solar Empire will be anti-anti-smoking. Uh, all uh, anti-smoking education will be banned. All anti-smoking uh, propaganda <laughs> will be banned. Uh, there, there are some other points to my rule. Um, hmm, there was uh, yes. So, oh yes, I'm going to build a space station above the North Pole of Saturn. It will be the center of my rule, this space station, will be known as Saturn Gnosis. You may not know that there is a hexagon on the North Pole of Saturn, the planet. You know of the red spot on Jupiter, but did you know that there is a hexagon on the North Pole of Saturn? Look it up on your phone. You may hear some strange things come out of my, my mouth tonight, but this is one that's true. So look it up, Go pull up your little smartphones, check it out, there is a North Pole. Uh, a hexagon on the North Pole of Saturn. Very well. So, um, my imperial plan. How did I become emperor? <laughs> well, there was an election. Uh, I, it was the same time as your bourgeois mortal presidential election, November 8th. I told all my friends, I told all my co-workers, and would you believe that not a single one of them, not a single one of my friends and co-workers, actually bothered to even attempt to vote or attempt to run in the election for emperor of the solar system. Not a single one of them. So, I mean, this, this radically, I mean, it's not that I would have let them if they had tried. You know, the only vote that counts is mine. But if they had tried, well, they didn't try. And I believe that this is, you know, uh, just radical proof of, you know, that democracy is a failure. It's uh, the pure uh, legitimation of my absolute rule. And, you know, that's, if, if I had to have one message tonight, it's that uh, democracy doesn't work. That's my message tonight. <laughs> Fuck democracy. Yes, that's my message. So, and uh, we will go into this. I will talk about the failure of democracy, and we will talk about how democracy doesn't work at length tonight. So, uh, okay, so uh, I want to first just explain that my reign is good for you. Um, you know, uh, my reign, it, it would be unethical of me if I did not share my role with you. And I really, I'd be doing you a disservice if I did not ram my government down your throat, and ultimately, you know, it's in your best interest if uh, you allow me, you know, you filthy, unwashed, plebeian masses, just allow me to govern for you because you're clearly incapable of governing yourself. You know, some people give dictators a hard time, they talk down on them. They say, well, dictators rule from fear. But I want you to stop and think for a minute just how much courage ruling from fear really takes. Think about that. You know, just shutting down and crushing dissident and opponent, you know, with no moral justification, again and again, time after time, and having the confidence to do it effectively, again and again, that takes true bravery and audacity. <laughs> so, um, back to democracy. Now, the real reason, and all of you will agree, that, that, you know, the real proof that democracy doesn't work is capitalism. You go to work, you, you, you know, you show up and you take orders. You have a boss, you do what they tell you, your boss is a dictator. And this is the only possible way that things could work. You, you, don't, you don't go to work and, and vote on things. You don't go to work and elect leaders. That would be, that, 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 
Actually, I, actually, that would be quite something, wouldn't it? Hmm. <laughs> now that I'm talking myself into it, you know, uh, you know, you know, we, but, but the economy is a bigger thing. You know, the, the economy, the macro economy is, uh, you know, it's not even one unified thing. Uh, it's not like we could just seize the Walmart distribution chain and, uh, you know, take it over and, you know, uh, run it collectively according to, you know, uh, local and regional elected planners for, you know, collective coordination to, you know, actual serve, you know, human needs. You know, that, no! that, that would be, that would be, you know, obvious. That would make sense. And when you do things that are obvious and make sense, that's how you get the DNC rigged against you. So, yeah, so, um, you know, so quick, you know, when you have ideas that are obvious and make sense, quick, you need to, uh, you need distractions, quick distractions. Uh, you need, you need ISIS, China, uh, Mexicans coming over the border. Uh, you need, uh, support my dictatorship to fight the aliens. Yes, illegal aliens in space. Yes. Uh, women uh, are, have cooties. Uh, yes, they're gross. And, okay, so now that you're distracted, Trump and Clinton go back to playing golf with each other. Uh, you go back to work, and uh, if you have a job, and uh, your boss goes back to enjoying whatever lifestyle they have. All right, I'm starting to see how this works. Okay. Now, I may have hurt some of your feelings by uh, lumping Clinton and Trump together there. You know, that, that might have, there might be some Trump supporters or some Clinton supporters who, who are a little wounded by that, but, but it's okay. It's okay, because... You know, you love it when I hurt your feelings. Fuck both. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, yeah. But I mean, maybe, maybe there are some people who I wounded a little bit here, and, and I want to be sensitive to them, and I want to explain to them that, that actually the pain I cause you is your highest purpose in life. That, uh, you know, when I hurt you, that's, that's, that's what you're here for. That, you know, in, in, the, in the great variety of, of experience in the universe, that, uh, you know, all, all the joys and all the horrors and all, all the uh, anticipation and discovery and the, the immense spectrum of, of experience and, and being that uh, a conscious being can, can undergo. That um, being hurt by me, all of them will leave a mark on you with an intensity and a duration on your psyche that will last. And being hurt by me will leave the deepest and longest lasting mark on your psyche of any of them. And, and truly it is, it is the highest thing in your life. And uh, you know, it, truly, being hurt by me is your life's purpose. I am, I am the kink of the universe, and uh, hurting you is, is my purpose. So, you could say we have, we have a symbiosis. We are meant for each other. So, uh, the fact that, you know, I'm, I'm willing to hurt you, uh, and, and, and you love it, and you fucking love it, you love it even when you hate it, is why I'm willing to preach at you and, and make things awkward and bring up my agenda, because um, I will be uh, actually launching my imperial reign at the... Uh, protest of Donald Trump's uh, little uh, inauguration parade at DC. There will be a march and uh, there will be a counter protest. So um, I think I'll have signups after this for that uh, circulating. If anyone wants to get in on that, I will be going down in a contingent and we will uh, be bringing a hundred red flags like we did at the DNC protest. So we're signifying we're not just a bunch of Clinton sore losers, but we are the enraged masses ready to sink our teeth into the necks of the bourgeoisie and drink blood, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, all right. Um, but it's true that, you know, everything I stand for actually could be completely flawed. Uh, I started this character with the idea that I would be a parody of a demagogue, and then eventually I realized that I might just actually, my ideas could all be wrong, and I may actually just, just be the demagogue that I was parodying. So, uh, I've been told that time is up, so what I always like to end on is the line between the joke and reality is always very, very blurry. Hail Saturn! Hail the Sun! Long live the solar empire! Kill the rich! 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 Kill the rich.